In just a little over a week, the Idaho Technology Council will induct two people into its Hall of Fame. This is the second year that the organization has been doing this, recognizing innovators in Idaho's technology community. This year, Steve Hodges and Jack Lemley will be inducted into the Hall of Fame. They join us now on Business at its Best. Gentlemen, thank you so much, uh, Jack and Steve, for being sure. with us today. And first of all, let's dive, dive off, and uh, you both have led an exciting, very interesting uh, lives. And I'd like to just get a brief look at what, where you've been, what you've done between uh, Hewlett Packard and some of the endeavors you've encountered around the world. So Jack, let's start off with you. Talk to us about your history, where you've been and what you've done. I have been a builder since uh, I was six years old. My sandbox just got bigger and bigger. <laughs> and uh, probably the largest credit I have was as chief executive officer of the construction of the Channel Tunnel between England and France. Mm. And Steve? It's a hard act to follow. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm a small timer. I'm a small business a startup guy. Um, a former HP engineer who moved to Boise and, and never left. What about the area really intrigues you, kept you here? I'm, I'm sort of an outdoorsy guy, so I think the, the natural beauty of Idaho, the lifestyle, the, the ability to get out, to go out the door and, and be running or hiking or biking on the trails and, and just the people. And Jack, what keeps you here with, with an international experience and exposure that you've had? No matter where I've lived, and I've lived in a number of different countries and states in the United States, I've always considered Idaho home. I was born and raised in North Idaho, Coeur d'Alene, graduated from the University of Idaho, and I've always had a very tight attachment to the well-being of the state itself. And I like the out of doors, but one of the key reasons I'm here because I met my wife here and married her and she had been born and raised in Boise. Okay. So that's the best reason I can give you. And always an excellent reason. Let's, let's talk about the, what we see happening right now in, in Idaho's economy and, and both of you being inducted into the Technology Hall of Fame. And uh, based on your, your past, you with, with HP and, and you in the, in the construction industry around the, uh, around the country, we're, we're migrating to this knowledge-based economy, but what, what does that really mean for the entrepreneurs out there? And Jack, we'll start with you. Well, it means a great opportunity, mm -hmm. but the opportunity is based on knowledge and education. I believe that there is tremendous opportunity both within the United States and internationally for Idaho businesses. I, uh, I know the agriculture business has been getting a lot of publicity relative to sales to Korea and wherever, but there are enormous other technical advances being made within the state itself, both in agriculture and very high technical you mentioned education, and as I talk to business owners, I know I've talked to a few uh, folks who are looking for web developers and things like that, and they say we keep having to go outside the country, outside the state, excuse me, and sometimes outside the country to find folks who actually have the technical ability. So from an education standpoint, uh, what, do you, what, what are some of the needs that you see immediately to be able to fulfill this? Well, I think we're going to have to develop people that can create websites and update them. This, isn't, this is a, a business opportunity by itself. By itself, okay. We're out of time for this segment. When we come back, uh, Steve Hodges, Jack Lemley, you're gonna stick around with us. We're gonna continue this conversation right after the break. And also coming up a little later, right here on Business at Its Best, after we continue this conversation, we talk about data theft and how it puts your company at risk, the real threats of data loss, and how to stop a thief when we return on Business at Its Best.
This segment on business at its best is brought to you by Advantage Walking Chiropractic in Boise. The leading health professionals at Advantage Walking Chiropractic are dedicated to helping you achieve your wellness objectives. Welcome back to Business at Its Best. I'm Dale Dixon from the Better Business Bureau. We are continuing a conversation with the Idaho Technology Council's inductees into the Hall of Fame, Steve Hodges and Jack Lemley. Jack and Steve, once again, thank you so much for being with us. Prior to the break, we were talking about education and education's role in preparing Idaho really to launch forward in this knowledge-based economy. And Steve, I'd like to turn it over to you and some of the opportunities that you see for Idaho when it comes to educating a workforce and preparing for those next steps. Okay. Well, I think we do have some unique opportunities. Um, my primarily, primary focus for the past few years has been a combination of agriculture technologies, mm -hmm. technologies used in ag and energy, um, the idea of, of saving scarce resources like energy and water. There's, uh, these are areas that Idaho is very big in. We have a tremendous amount of irrigation, for example and that requires a lot of power and a lot of water. There's numerous technologies that can uh, be put into place to, to maximize both of those. Um, as far as education and technology, obviously we need to be focusing on the math, the science, the engineering classes, and to do whatever we can to support the schools at, at all levels. Steve, you've, you've mentioned briefly about working with other folks, but really you have a passion for helping entrepreneurs follow in your footsteps, so to speak, uh, realize some of the, this level of success. What are some of the things that you're doing? As far as people, you mm -hmm. mean? As far as the people are concerned. Well, I, I think over the years I've been fortunate to hire a lot of technical people, and I've learned that, that probably the most important thing, in addition to being technically smart and competent, is to... Be sure and hire the best people you can, the, the human qualities. Look for the people with the big work ethics, the, the honesty, loyalty, friendship. Those types of things are so important in a startup. Um, when there's only a few of you, two to five people, those first hires and those first partners that you work with, those are going to be the key to your success. And so it's just critical. And Jack, after working on the, the English Channel, so to speak, and, and all of what you've learned in the construction industry, um, some of the advice that you have for the entrepreneur who's looking to start up? I would second everything that mm -hmm. Steve said. I think it's, it applies not only to very technical type of jobs, but it also applies to jobs like a miner or a ditch digger or somebody pouring concrete. I, I've learned as much from people that work with their hand as I have in university. Okay. Not that I'm diminishing university involvement because I have been an advisor to the University of Idaho where I graduated and Idaho State University and I think the research that they're doing will also open up huge opportunities in the future to take the uh, research and commercialize it. And that's one thing that I think is so important. I'd like to refer you to the Idaho Statesman this morning and a partnership notice in here about Idaho State University forming a partnership with a Georgia company to be able to image sea containers to see what's in them. It's a huge homeland security technology requirement and Idaho State University is right in the middle of it. I think the greatest thing that people can walk away from this conversation, there are a lot of opportunities. It's when you surround yourself with, right. with great people, uh, really the sky's the limit and, and all those opportunities are right here in Idaho. Jack Lemley, Steve Hodges, newest inductees into the Idaho Technology Council's Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. Congratulations on that honor and the event will be held October 26th at the Boise Center on the Grove and folks can find more at IdahoTechCouncil.org.